Hello everyone. We're gonna be working on these early 90s Nissan Silvia engine. This is a SR20 DET 2.0 liter turbocharged engine. We're gonna be doing some uh, minor machine repair on the block. This is Super Sass, by the way, bringing you more pain in the head content for you guys. So as I was saying, this is a common issue that most people uh, have, on, especially in aluminum blocks. Either the threads on the head studs or the head bolts pull out or the main stud threads or bolts come out. Uh, reason is, uh, from the factory, these engines have uh, 65 foot-pound uh, main bolts. But once you start making more power, you need to get stronger studs for the block. So these ones are ARP main studs that are, get torqued down to 80 foot-pounds. But what happens is, if these threads don't get lubricated properly or just from where from the block the threads actually break off from the block like they just come out so right now we're going to be using this kit it's called time cert thread repair kit this is the part number that we're using it's 2200 and it comes with all these goodies we're gonna be using this ones, the drill bit, the taps, the driver, the thread locker. This is a whole special part. And as you notice, it's uh, quite the step to do this. So the first step we do is we have this like little ruler that the kit comes with and you gotta like put this little ruler in one of the good holes and you gotta measure out how deep the step where the threads begin start, you know? So right now we're getting about, let's see here. It's about five millimeters. It's super hard to see with a flash, but we're getting about five millimeters. That's how much it goes in right there. Yep, there it is, five millimeters. Then you grab the special drill bit that the kit comes with, and you basically install this step that you just measured up to here. And then this adapter has like an Allen lock. You just tie that up and that's where this is going to stop the step. Next is the actual depth of the hole. Right now, we are getting about 40 millimeters which is exactly how much the rest of the drill bit is. So now that you measure your distances properly, make sure this is tightened properly. I already did a couple holes already. Just, I'm gonna use this one, for example. You carefully drill this special bit into the hole until this is flush like that and you make sure to use some type of d 40 or pv blaster as you're drilling because a lot of metal will come out once that's done by the way the part number on this one is oh let me see here it's uh one 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 five ones basically we have then the tap this one is part number one 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 two 
basically four ones and one two and then there's the drive drive is one 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 three these are the inserts that we're using one 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 five five they're 30 millimeter steel inserts they look like this uh basically once you have the hole made this is one that i just finished doing the threads and same thing you just carefully tap in the new threads and then once you finish that and remember to always lubricate your threads uh, here's the next step you basically use this drive and you just kind of like carefully install this steel insert make sure it's just like snug and everything's lubricated once you get it into the drive you make sure you put some uh, time cert thread locker sealer uh, basically this is the part number 6020 and then you carefully thread in the new steel insert very carefully and yeah basically it's quite the step quite the process to do this but once you get it in right it takes time you can't rush these types of problems it's one of the most pain in the head problems that most people have with these aluminum blocks and then this is how it comes out this is the end result right here the reason you put in thread locker is because we don't want we don't want uh these steel sleeves coming out we just want them in there permanently so this is the end result how it looks like after it cured things locked in there and then for the final test result this is the rp stud and there you go nice and snug so we're going to be doing basically all of them because since this engine is going to be drifted very very harsh we want to make sure that none of these fall out uh, but yeah, there are many kits for many vehicles, but this is your time cert kit. Uh, this is a head bolt repair kit, but it also works for main uh, bolt repairs. And those are the these are, are the steps that I was telling you about. To very carefully take your time to mark everything. Uh, so here's all the other ones that we're gonna be installing. So there it is. Just remember that as you're cleaning your threads, I use like some AutoZone brake cleaner to spray in the holes and make sure everything stays clean. So there it is. Uh, if y'all have any problems like this, now you know how to fix your broken head bolt threads and hope for the best. Stay tuned for more content. Awesome.